Hey, gearheads, it's Jeff with Gear Report here at Philmont Scout Ranch. It's the summer of 2021, and we have tracked down Robert, who's gonna to talk to us about the conservation individual programs here at Philmont. What can you tell us? So uh, there are a number of opportunities here at Philmont where an individual young person can get out to the ranch uh, for less than a regular track and, and with a less of a, of a wait list situation. The conservation department runs um, four of these in particular. We do the Order of the Arrow Trail Crew, a regular trail crew track, uh, the Roving Outdoor Conservation School, and the STEM track. Uh, and all of them allow an individual young person, uh, in the case of, of most of them, between 16 but not yet 21, yeah. sort of a backstage pass to come out and do nice. and see things at the ranch that a regular trek doesn't quite get to, get to do. Nice. They Keep use going. these tools, I suspect? <laughs> um, quite a bit. Uh, the conservation individual programs uh, focus on, on you know, finding ways to give back to the land out here, to support Philmont's conservation program, and really to help uh, protect and, and conserve Philmont for future generations of campers. So um, both of our trail crew programs are out kind of in the deep south in the area around Mount Phillips and Cedo Peak where they're building trails that will open up uh, parts of the backcountry that you currently can't really quite get to. Um, trail Crew Trek is building the first trail up Cedo Peak, uh, wow. finding, creating a new route between Sawmill and Cimarron-Cito. Uh, the OA Trail Crew is building a new trail up Mount Phillips through an area that, that hikers would normally not see, uh, including uh, the Rincon Rayado, a, a stream up there that you normally wouldn't have been able to access for water. Nice. Um, but taking us toward the summit of Mount Phillips. Uh, programs like the Roving Outdoor Conservation School, or we call it ROCKS, uh, they engage in all those other types of conservation work. They're helping with our forest fuels reduction program, our forestry work to make our forests more sustain sustainable and more resilient to fire. They are helping with stream restoration projects, uh, invasive species projects, and a lot of things that help kind of enhance and protect the habitat out there and keep Philmont wild. Um, Rocks also allows them to meet up with the natural resource professionals who work with the ranch, uh, also with Carson National Forest. So it's, it's a great way if somebody's you know, generally interested in the outdoors and they're, they're interested maybe in future summer employment outdoors, that kind of mm. thing. Yeah. Uh, these are the closest thing that we really have to like a CIT, like a counselor in mm -hmm. training program. Mm -hmm. It's a great way to kind of make the leap from a regular camper into a staff position. Uh, the, you know, you think of a teenager coming out and doing that, sort of helps build their Philmont resume. Right. It introduces them to staff who could, you know, give them a letter of recommendation in the future. And because they're providing all that service to Philmont, uh, you know, those treks are offered at, at a pretty deep discount. Uh, the trail crew programs are about $400. Uh, the rocks program is 21 days and is about $600. Uh, and both those 14-day and the 21-day program um, they have scholarships through our Philmont Staff Association. So we've got alumni who, who've, you know, helped us create funds so that hopefully uh, that the application, you know, fee for those programs isn't a barrier to anybody getting out here who, who'd love to work at Philmont with us. Nice. That sounds exciting. I remember last time I was out here, we saw, we saw a crew going through, uh, was it Toothache Springs, I think, putting in sumps, yeah. right? 2017, yeah. mid-July. That would have been part of this program or that, something that, That's else? our staff. Um, that's that, that's, staff. That's okay. our staff work crews, uh, okay. kind of those, you know, those strike teams where you, you send five gotcha. folks out to go fix something at a remote campsite like Toothache okay. Springs. Yeah, yeah. They're, they're getting paid to spend the whole so summer hiking around. That. Yeah. And that, so then we saw trail crews then coming through Hidden Valley, I guess. Would mm -hmm. that have been part of this program? Uh, it, well, it, in, in fact, you'd probably see, see some groups moving around out there. Uh, for like OA Trail Crew or for mm -hmm. Trail Crew Trek, they're spending a lot of time on one particular project where we're building something new. Mm -hmm. And so they'll be able to, you know, to, to get to look on a Philmont map in the future. They'll be able to find that dotted line going over Cedo Peak and say, mm -hmm. we put that there. You know, that, that's our contribution. Dude, to Philmont that made map. the hair of my arm stand up <laughs> thinking about having that kind of connection. I love this place. I keep coming back to have that kind of connection um, and to get it at a discount. It, it is. Know, it, it's I'm surprised you're not swamped and have a huge waiting list. They, they, I think they're one of Philmont's best kept secrets. You know, it, it's tricky, the idea when you're a high school senior or a college freshman to, 
travel out here, so to speak, alone to sign up for a mm -hmm. program. Mm -hmm. But it's also a great opportunity because you don't have to wait until, you, until your unit or your council contingent is going. Mm -hmm. uh, but of course, you can sign up with friends. Uh, we, we always see young folks kind of making a road trip out of it and coming mm -hmm. out with, with a small group of folks from their council or you know, their, their college roommates or something coming out mm -hmm. to do one of these together. Um, but you know, it's, it's, a, it's an interesting way to interact with the camp. If you think about Philmont, depending on how you want to count, has you know, nearly 360 miles of trail out there, something like that. Mm -hmm. And the overwhelming majority of it, especially the miles that we would truly think of as hiking trails, mm -hmm. uh, that was built by scouts, for scouts, by hand. And whether it's building some of those trails or whether it's, it, it's working with rocks and doing some of the, the forest fuels thinning kind of work, mm -hmm. all of that work helps preserve and protect the wilderness experience out here. Yeah. So, hey, if you're watching this and it interests you, if you're a parent or, or a friend of someone who might be interested, share the information with them. But wait, where do they get the information? <laughs> so it's on the Philmont website. We, we describe these as individual opportunities because you don't, you know, you, no crew, no problem. You don't need your unit coming out here in order to do them. Uh, so philmontscoutranch.org slash individual. Uh, and you'll see a number of them on there and the scholarship information. That's fantastic. Well, and of course, uh, you know, our longest individual program, they can sign up for conservation staff. And, and for those who are over 21, or uh, more on the advisor side of things, we actually do a volunteer vacation uh, in the off season, usually in the Ooh. autumn, uh, that, that is also on our website. It's usually a partnership with our staff association. So you're saying there may be something for someone who's older than not yet 21. In the fall, we usually build trail with volunteer vacation. And in the spring, we, we do some of this forestry work with our fill break program, an nice. alternative spring break service program. So we've, we're always trying to find new ways to get people out here mm -hmm. and to help folks uh, see and experience mm -hmm. the work that's going on out here. Not I think just young people, like not as young as they used to be kind of people <laughs> can still come out? If, if people are interested in doing work, like I said, those off-season programs allow us to open it up to a really wide range. Uh, whereas in the summer, we kind of focus on folks who might be interested in becoming future staff. Fantastic. All right. Hey, I appreciate all the information. Um, I, I keep eyeing that. I, I don't know what it is, but that, that axe is calling to me. I'm going to go play with that. Um, you need to watch that. So we're going to cut you loose. Until next time, we'll see you on the trail. Let us know if you have any questions in the comments. A big thanks to our patrons for helping us bring you more unbiased, hands-on reviews. Mm -hmm.